All right, so Nicki Minaj and Remy Ma battle. Okay, everybody knows that. Now, of course, Remy Ma won the battle with her classic hit record, Sheether, which is arguably the bestest record of all time. However, Remy Ma may have won the battle, but Nicki Minaj won the war. I mean, she's the most successful female rap artist in the history of music. And they both have their strengths. Nicki has the industry unlocked, which is basically the world. And Remy has the streets unlocked, which is basically you ninjas who are listening to this. I just have one question. Oh, how the hell did Prima Donna end up getting into this? So Prima Donna 87 on Instagram posted the following message. This is the waist trainer queen right here. She said thoughts. By the way, it's team at Remy Ma all day. Hashtag Sheether. I don't know Ra, but the move she making is nah. Referring to the picture that Ra Lee took with Nicki Minaj and that other lady because Ra has her new shoe store that's open and whatnot. She's been in fashion for a while. Anyway, Prima Donna went out to say, don't know Ra, but the moves she making is nah. I hope she got paid. Where is the loyalty? These days, this is why I don't fuck with these women out here now. Period. Hashtag Sheether. Hashtag mad bitches link up. <laughs> don't ask me why I care because I don't. It's called social media and right now I'm being social. Don't be dumb. Where's the lie? And she actually posted a picture of Remy Ma and Ra Ali chilling in bathing suits She's, you know as they used to be friends but we saw that deteriorate on love and hip-hop new york season six anyways riley actually responded to prima donna by saying at prima donna 87 being that you don't know me and you don't know what has happened you should mind your business i've never been concerned about you and your business a day in my life and then tommy lee from love and hip-hop atlanta season six somehow, somehow chimed in with her fine ass my favorite model she said ain't none sis this is world is full of opportunists this is what anyways only a handful of real ones left shaking my head now for the record not to clown my baby boo -op, tommy lee but listen um goddamn tommy really ain't none sis this is world is full of opportunity was this tommy with a drink in her hand that type that shit Listen, she's the, she may be the greatest model in the world, but her grammar is just... Anyways, shout out to everybody mentioned, you know, Prima Donna has a fatty, Riley has a fatty, and honestly, I think this is just part of the war on pretty. I think that there's an evil spirit that's trying to keep pretty women from working together and being happy, and it's trying to destroy them. I think these two ladies, Prima Donna and Riley, who both happen to have more booty than a little bit, I think that... Well, no, no, they don't. They don't need to do that. I was gonna say they should bump their butts against each other, but then that start an ass quake, and you know, and, and probably in civilization. But you know, they need to just come on now, my Jesus. Prima Donna sells waist trainers. Riley has a shoe store. Imagine if Prima Donna's awesome waist trainers that even the Kardashians use. Imagine if her waist trainers were sold there, at Riley's store. You know, that's another item that a lot of women happen to use, and you know, get your shoes and get your your waist train and whatnot, you know, they can link up and do some business and get some of that sh money together. Because this right here is just, and, and, and look at my girl, Tommy Lee, the greatest model, she could be rocking all of that. Actually, Tommy Lee, if I'm not mistaken, is part of the waist training game. Remember the whole coca -Lean thing that was going on around them when they were just in Jocelyn? And was it 2016? Remember all of that? Remember how all them baddies linked up Jessica Dime and Mimi Faust and Tommy Lee and they were all rocking the coca -Lean shirts and you know listen man Prima Donna's a smart lady wise businesswoman so is Riley I just want to see them work together and get that money and keep it twerking but anyways this is all my opinion what do I know I am merely a fan of big booty black women with a microphone that's all I am let me know what y'all think about it all below be sure to subscribe to the Meat Magazine YouTube channels Visit meatmagazine.blogspot.com for more. Follow me on Twitter at Meat Magazine, Meat Magazine 7 on Google Plus, Meat Magazine blog on Instagram. Hit the notification button next to the subscribe button. It looks like a bell. When you hit that button, you'll be notified when new videos get posted. Meat Magazine.